Before I get started, please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any new material that I'm going to be producing in the future. And that helps us grow the channel, grow more content, and help people like you. So I.O. stands for Input Output. That's uh, the package uh, we're reading and writing stuff. And I.O. defines a two very, very uh, fundamental interfaces. There's I.O. Reader, which this is the interface, okay? You need to implement a read method that gets a slice of bytes, and you, you need to return how many bytes you filled inside the slice and if there was an error. And, and then, um, on the other hand, uh, we have the writer. And the writer uh, implements a write method that gets a byte slice and returns how many bytes from this byte slice it manages, managed to write and if there was an error. And that's it. So you see these interfaces are one method each and they are uh, really a backbone in a lot of input output operations in, um, in Go. So for example, if we go to um, the JSON package, right? Uh, we have a decoder and encoder. So uh, when we do a decoder, we just pass it an IO reader. And the decoder doesn't care if this IO reader is an open file, a socket, an HTTP request, uh, a compressed file. It doesn't really care. It says, for me to work, I just need you to provide me a way to read some bytes from you. And that's it. And the same goes for encoder. So when we encode JSON, uh, we just get a writer. So the encoder, uh, as long as you implement a method that I can write to you, uh, the encoder doesn't care again if it's writing to the standard output, to a file, to a socket, uh, to a web request. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Thank you.